This is a movie about the espresso study, epidemiology strengthened by histopathology reports in Sweden and research from the team of Jonas F. Ludvigsson. This constitutes a novel approach to examine the etiology and prognosis of gastrointestinal disease where histopathology plays a crucial part. One in three individuals visits a physician every year for gastrointestinal complaints. GI disorders have an increasingly significant impact on the status of the workforce and the economy. Between 2015 and 2017, Jonas F. Ludvigsson contacted all of Sweden's 28 pathology departments and formed the Espresso Court. The Espresso Court consists of more than 2 million patients who in total have 6.1 million biopsies. These data have been used to examine new phenotypes of disease, cancer precursors, liver disease, the pancreas and gallbladder. For instance, the code have data on nearly 350,000 liver biopsies and more than 2.3 million colorectal biopsies. The Espresso study enables researchers to identify diagnosis and disease phenotypes that are currently not indexed in national registers. But it also allows researchers to increase sensitivity and specificity of already di recorded diseases in the national health registers and can help researchers better identify the onset of IBD as well as the degree of fibrosis and cirrhosis in liver disease. These data are based on pathology reports. A subset of records also contain the free text from the histopathology report. Index with histopathology data have since been matched with up to five controls from the general population and all first degree relatives and spouses have been identified. In total, the study population consists of 13,000 million individuals. Data from all study participants have been linked to Swedish national healthcare registers, allowing research on such aspects as fatal and perinatal conditions and risk of future GI disease, but also risk of comorbidity, complications including cancer and death in gastrointestinal disease. This has yielded more than 30 publications only in the last year, 2021. The Espresso Code was initiated by Jonas F. Ludvigsson. Following a Fulbright Research Scholarship at the Mayo Clinic in 2012, he was appointed full professor of clinical epidemiology at the Karolinska Institute in 2013. In 2015, he was named adjunct professor of Columbia University and has been the chair of the Swedish Society of Epidemiology. He is also a practicing pediatrician at Örebro University Hospital in Sweden and former chair of the Swedish Society of Pediatrics. According to the Clarivate Web of Science and PubMed, Ludvigsson was the number one researcher at Karolinska Institute in terms of first and last author publications in the last five years. Overall, he has more than 50 publications as first and last author in journals with an impact factor above 20. This includes publications in the last two years as senior author in the New England Journal of Medicine, The Lancet, JAMA and the BMJ. Seeing patients on a daily basis is the driving force for, my, for his research. He's been following kids, especially with celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease and liver disease for many years now. He believes in research in espresso and that it can make a difference to the lives of patients with gastrointestinal disease. And he admits it's all, he also finds the research per se extremely rewarding. Initiating the espresso study is perhaps his main contribution to research. He hopes to work with this project for another 20 years. It's a project he wants to expand and welcomes new collaborators. You can read more about the Espresso project on our webpage or contact Ludwigsson if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.